Um, the other way you guys can look at this is just to go and find, if you want to look at the angles, right? If you guys have a large unit circle, if you guys can remember that the first couple angles, the first one's 30 degrees, the next one is 45 degrees, and the next one's 60 degrees, and then obviously here is going to be 90 degrees. So really what you can notice is off of every quadrant, all right, you're adding 30 degrees, and then between the two is just adding 15 degrees. So between these angles is just plus 15 and plus 15, right? So first thing that I would like to do is you can just kind of go, first one is to add your 30. So this is going to be 120. And then add 15, add 15. So you add 15, so it would be um, 135. And then add 15 again, you're going to get um, 40, yeah. one fi um, 150. 150. And then again, is it from here to here? Is it 30? Yes. So then, again, you could just do add 30, 15, 15. So add 30 to 180. So add 30, so you're going to get 210. Add 15 to that, you're going to get 225. Then you get 240. And then add 30 again, you get 270. Add 30, add 15, add 15. Add 30 to that, you get 300. 315, 20, 330. Add 30, you get 360. Make sense? Same thing, it's something different. Yes. 